Hey there, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. I love to fish and I love to make fishing lures, but I hate to stain them, paint them, and top coat them. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make one of these surf casting lures from resin out of a Pez container. Let's get started. The resin's had time to cure in the form here, so I'm gonna take this eighth inch bit and core from one end, we'll flip the form and then core from the other so we can get a through hole uh, to run the wire when we assemble the lure. I'm gonna keep the speed really slow because any heat generated by this bit against this resin is gonna cause a mess if it starts to melt. I finished drilling the hole through the form and I've mounted it between centers. I'm now going to rough out the shape, we'll sand it up, and then we'll assemble the lure.
final step will be to bore a small 5/32 hole in the top so we can fit the nose grommet. The tail grommet is going to fit as is. So we'll go ahead and we will just drill this out like that. Now, I'm going to put the eyes on because I always forget to do that. So, eyes are going to go on first. And we'll put one on the other side. Okay. So, the next step will be to feed the wire that has this loop on the end through the nose grommet. We're going to pinch this wire just like that. Then we're going to slide this through the lure body. So it seats like that. And then we're going to take the tail grommet and we are going to feed the wire through the tail grommet, run it to the body of the lure like that. And then we are going to pull and bend at a 45 degree angle. Now let's take it over to the vise and we'll create the bottom loop and put the hook on. I have a 3 8 inch rod that I have here in the vise and what we're going to do is we are going to just bend the wire around this piece of 3 8 inch tube or rod, take it off, and I've just done this to prevent any marring, this is a bike inner tube. And then what I'm going to do is take the rod out. I'm going to crimp the loop back in the vise. Doesn't have to be super tight. And then with my other hand, I am going to wrap the wire two or three times around the base. Oh. Just like that. I'm going to take a wire cutter, clip it, and then I'll take a pliers. A little hard to do in the vise, but and uh, I'm going to take it out of the vise for this last step. I'm just going to tuck it in. There. The last step will be to put the hook on, which is as easy as crimping it with a pair of pliers, just like that. The resin lure is complete, and I've put it next to a wood lure that I made a few months ago. With the exception of accidentally making it a little shorter, there's really no discernible difference between the two lures. So if you're trying to decide what material you want to use for your lures, let me call out a few observations. The first of which is, these are a lot faster to make. With wood, you need to stain, paint, and then add a top coat to the paint. With this, I just needed to sand it out to the desired finish. The other thing that I've noticed is that resin is much heavier than wood to the extent that I didn't have to add a weight to this to get to two and a half ounces, as opposed to wood, which is a lot lighter and does require weights. Finally, there's price. It comes out to be probably about a wash. The resin is a lot more expensive, but on the other hand, you don't need a weight, you don't need stain, you don't need paint, and you don't need a, a sealer of some sort. So it's, it's pretty even. Now, I am not an expert with resin by any stretch of the imagination, but I do believe that sky's the limit in terms of what you can do with coloration and patterns. And I am really excited to start experimenting to see what I can come up with. So if you're trying to decide, I would probably go the resin route. I just think it's gonna be more fun for you. But again, it's personal preference. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.